Hello everyone. In today's topic, we will be discussing about the anatomy of lower limb. In that, our today's discussion will be the front of the thigh. In the front of the thigh, the objectives of today's class are we are going to study about the superficial fascia and the deep fascia. Next, we will be discussing about the femoral triangle and femoral canal. And at last, we will be discussing about the muscles of the front of the thigh along with the femoral artery, femoral vein and femoral nerve. And let us begin our discussion with the superficial fascia of the front of the thigh. The superficial fascia of the front of the thigh is made up of two layers. It has a superficial fatty layer and a deep membranous layer. And these two layers continues with the corresponding layers of the anterior abdominal wall. And these two layers are most distinct in the uppermost part of the thigh near the groin because at that area we can see the cutaneous nerves, cutaneous vessels and cutaneous lymph nodes lie between these two layers. I said you that the superficial layer of the superficial fascia is the fatty layer and the deep layer of the superficial fascia is the membranous layer. The membranous layer is loosely attached to the deep fascia of the thigh except near the inguinal ligaments because where it firmly attaches to the horizontal line and this line of firm attachment is called as Holden's line. This Holden's line is an imaginary line. It begins a little lateral to the pubic tubercle and extends laterally for about 8 centimeters. What is the importance of this line? For example, when urethra is injured in the perineum, the urine may flow out or the urine may extra vacate into the interval between the deep and membranous layer of the superficial fascia. This urine can pass up into the anterior abdominal wall from where it can enter into the upper part of the thigh. But however, because of the presence of this film attachment of the superficial fascia to the Holden's line prevents the urine from descending into the thigh beyond this line. And if you see the contents, the superficial fascia contains the cutaneous nerves, the cutaneous arteries, the great saphenous vein along with its tributaries and also we can see the superficial inguinal lymph nodes. Now let us study the contents of the superficial fascia one by one in detail. Now we are going to discuss about the cutaneous nerves of the front of the thigh. The entire skin of the front of the thigh is supplied by seven cutaneous nerves derived directly or indirectly from the lumbar plexus. Not only that, the skin over the upper lateral part of the thigh is supplied by the lateral cutaneous branch of the subcostal nerve. And the important cutaneous nerves are the ilioinguinal nerve, second is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve and the third one is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the fourth one is intermediate cutaneous nerve and the fifth is the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh. 
and the next one is the softness nerve and here all these are the cutaneous nerves of the front of the thigh. Let us discuss about the first one that is ilioinguinal nerve. This ilioinguinal nerve supplies the skin at the root of the penis or over the mons pubis in females. Not only that, it also supplies the anterior one third of the scrotum and labius majus and also the supramedial part of the thigh. And the root value of the ilioinguinal nerve is L1 because you can see here from the lumbar plexus the L1 gives off two nerves one is the iliohypogastric nerve and second is the ilioinguinal nerve. So ilioinguinal nerve emerges from L1 segment of the lumbar plexus that is the reason it has the root value of L1. And the second one is the femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve. The femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve arises from the L1 and L2 segments of lumbar plexus. So it has a root value of L1, L2. This femoral branch of genitofemoral nerve pierces the femoral sheet and the overlying deep fascia that is 2 cm below the meeting vinyl points and supplies the most of the skin over the femoral triangle. And the third one is the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh. The lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh is a branch of lumbar plexus. That is, it emerges behind the lateral end of the inguinal ligament where it divides into anterior and posterior branches and supplies the skin on the anterolateral side of the thigh and also an anterior part of the gluteal region. And the next is the intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh. This intermediate cutaneous nerve of the thigh is a branch of anterior division of femoral nerve. It also divides into two or more branches where it supplies a strip of the skin on the front of the thigh extending from the sartorius to the knee. And coming towards the me uh, medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh, likewise the intermediate cutaneous nerve, the medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh is also a branch of anterior division of femoral nerve. It also divides into anterior and posterior divisions where this medial cutaneous nerve of the thigh supplies the skin of the medial side of the lower two-third of the thigh and also the upper one-third of the leg. And at last, we will see the contributions from the softness nerve. The root value of the softness nerve is L3 and L4. And it is a branch of the posterior division of the femoral nerve. And this softness nerve pierces the deep fascia on the medial side of the knee where it runs downwards in front of the great softness vein and supplies the skin on the medial side of the leg and foot up to the ball of the great toe. And here, before piercing the deep fascia, the softness nerve gives off a branch to the patellar plexus called as infrapatellar branch which runs downwards and laterally and supplies the skin over the ligamentum patellae. And sometimes the cutaneous branch of the anterior division of the obturator nerve which is having the root value of L2 and L3 supplies the skin over the lower third of the medial side of the thigh in common with the medial cutaneous nerve. So by this we finished what are the cutaneous nerves which are seen in the front of the thigh.